here's Brody Brazil. One final time from the NBC Sports California studios here in San Francisco. Welcome to Sharks Night Shift. And to be very clear, uh, some people are looking at the calendar and hearing me say, oh, last, you know, game or last this of the season, last night shift of the season. No, it's not the last game for the Sharks. They still have 13 more. It's my last game tonight. And I'm switching to baseball mode starting on Friday. So actually on Thursday, they decided, hey, take that off because it's an early Friday morning opening day for the Oakland A's. I think our, our pregame is starting at 11 in the morning on Friday. So 162 games of baseball coming up for us. I think we're doing 159 of them. Last year, I got to like 120, or something like that individually. So a heavy workload for yours truly coming up. But I want to make it very clear. I am not, <laughs> obviously here on YouTube or social platforms, I am not departing from the San Jose Sharks in any way, shape, or form to make that clear. Because this happened last year too. People thought, oh, this is uh, this is really sad news. What's happening here? What's going? No, it's just the way the schedule works out. This hockey season going a lot later than normal. Usually the regular season wraps up first week of April. Under normal circumstances, this was an Olympic year. That never happened as we know. Uh, but the, the regular season going to the end of April, that clashed with baseball, which also started late this year for other reasons. So... Um, that's what it is. Um, corporate decision to instead of having me split back and forth, it's just too difficult on too many people in too many ways. So baseball is the next assignment. And uh, hey, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think you know, all of you know, I like to see things through. I do not like to uh, have an incomplete on anything, but there's really no good choice here. One thing or another is going to get shorted. And I have to say, what's probably most frustrating about this season for the Sharks, and it's simple, is that they're not going to make the playoffs. And three years in a row, it's never happened in franchise history. There's something to that. And it's not um, its not for a lack of effort. It's not for a lack of intent. You know, certainly not. These have been rough years, like literally all three of the last years, the the three years that they don't make it, one one season's cut off at 70 games and they have the weird bubble formats in Edmonton and Toronto. Uh, the next year is, was it 56 games last season? So kind of a, an absolute sprint, a condensed sprint. Sharks had all those road games to start, couldn't play home games for a long time. And then this year, kind of back to normal, but honestly, has it been? And And it has been more in recent months. You know, maybe since since 2022 kicked in, but think about what November and December were, all those games missed and COVID and teams making them up and the Sharks were down seven players one night and their head coach all of a sudden for two weeks, not just a couple days, but for two weeks. This season has not been normal either. So I'm not here to say, oh, there are excuses. There are built-in reasons why they didn't make it. No, honestly, they have not been as deep a team, certainly this year. And I, I do want to get into three prominent thoughts for this season in just a second. But the most overwhelming thing for San Jose, when it comes down to what's the one sentence about this team this year, is that not making the playoffs three times in a row for the first time ever is frustrating. It also tells the story of how good Sharks fans have had it over the years and, and and where the bar has been set. I mean, think across professional sports. There are a lot of teams that don't make the playoffs three years in a row for a lot of seasons in a row, you know? Some teams, uh, look at the Seattle Mariners of Major League Baseball now. Different playoff format, I get it. You know, half the teams in hockey make it, basically, I get it. Uh, well, now they do. Um, but Seattle has not made the playoffs since... 2001 in Major League Baseball, something like that. So you understand that we've had it good. That's also not an excuse, but it shows you where the bar is set, what expectations are, and that's what they're aiming for, right? Just to get back to that, play your cards and see what happens in a postseason run. 